Module 1. The Importance of Food Science in Food Industry In this module, you will be introduced to food science, the importance of food science, different aspects in food science, food processing, and recent trends in food science. At the end of this module, you will be accessed with a short assignment related to this module. At the end of this module, the students are expected to understand the concept in different aspects, the role of food science in agriculture, and to describe the trend market of the food industry in Malaysia and other countries. For the introduction, food may be defined as anything eaten or drunk that meets the need for energy, body building, regulation and protection of the body to sustain life. Food includes any solid or liquid which on swallowing can supply one or more of the following. First, materials from which body can produce movement, heat, or other forms of energy. Second, materials for growth, repair, regeneration, and reproduction. And third, substances necessary to regulate processes of growth and maintenance. Food is composed of many different chemical substances or called as nutrients. Nutrients are components of food that are needed by the body in adequate amounts in order to grow, reproduce, and lead a normal healthy life include water, protein, fats, carbohydrates, minerals, and vitamins. Certain food components are classified as non-nutrients based on technical definition I. Organic constituents of food having no nutritional function. They may be toxins or beneficial substances like fiber or compounds that may improve palatability or carry pharmacological importance. Colors, acids, phytates, tannins, phenolics, etc. are other examples of such food constituents. Nutrients in food can be classified into macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients are nutrients required by our body in large amounts. They include fat, protein, carbohydrate, lipid, and fiber. While micronutrients are nutrients required by our body in a small amount. They include vitamin and mineral. There are several main functions of nutrients in food. The first function is provision of energy. Foods with higher amounts of macronutrients are considered as the important and main sources of energy in the diet and is measured in terms of calories. Energy-yielding foods include cereals, pulses, nuts, oilseeds, roots, tubers, meat, fish, pure carbohydrates and fats or oils. The second function is immunity boost. Certain foods are thought to provide health benefits beyond basic nutrition in reducing the risk of certain health conditions and diseases and are referred to as functional foods. Green leafy vegetables, colored fruits, soybean, whole grains and spices are few examples of performing such functions as natural antioxidants and antimicrobials through phytochemicals, a vital component naturally present in plants. The third function is the regulation of body processes. Food constituents play an important role in providing protection and maintaining the body's regulatory system. Homeostasis is the ability of an organism or system to maintain its parameters in normal range of values. Control of body temperature, pH, blood pressure and glucose concentration are the key examples of body functions performed by vitamin and minerals. The fourth function is growth in bodybuilding. Protein is the building block of body tissues such as teeth, skin, bone and muscles. Thus, foods rich in protein are considered important in bodybuilding. Minerals are also involved in bodybuilding. The example of calcium is a vital and major constituent of bones along with phosphorus whereas, fluorine is integral component of teeth enamel. Lipids are the constituent of cells and play an important role in bodybuilding. Fat provides insulation to the body and protect vital body organs from damages. Food has been classified into numerous groups based on consumption pattern. These includes fats and sugars, cereals, grains and products, fruits and vegetables, pulses and legumes, milk and meat products. Almost all foods are plant or animal origin and human need food for normal growth and development. Figure 1.2 shows the five basic food groups which are fats and sugars, cereals, grains and products, pulses and legumes, milk and meat products, fruits and vegetables. What is food science? There are several definitions of food science by several authors and institutes. Murano defines food science as the scientific study of raw food materials and their behavior during formulation, processing, packaging, storage and evaluation as consumer food products. While Bender defines food science as the study of the basic chemical, physical, biochemical and biophysical properties of foods and their constituents, and of changes during handling, preservation, processing, storage, distribution and preparation for consumption. Food science is the discipline in which biology, physical sciences and engineering are used to study the nature of foods, the causes of their deterioration, and the principles underlying food processing. A definition by Institute of Food Technologist of the United States of America. Food science is a coherent and systematic body of knowledge and understanding of the nature and composition of food materials and their behavior under the various conditions to which they may be subject. Another definition by Institute of Food Science and Technology of the United Kingdom. Food science is a rapidly developing discipline that emerged in response to the global societal changes that are occurring. 
Initially, the food and agriculture sectors offered basic ingredients for home cooking, such as proteins and fruit. As a result of our ambitious, busy society, the market now needs more advanced and practical items. However, these handy and simple-to-prepare foods come with issues and difficulties that can only be resolved by highly qualified scientists. The intricate biology and chemical composition of food systems must be understood by these food scientists. They also need to be familiar with food preservation techniques. There is a greater need for food scientists. As a result of the significant development in simple-to-make foods, they'll keep watching over the health, safety, and and wholesome nutrition of these packaged meals. Food businesses need to keep up with the competitive market that demands high-quality products. New scientific principles, methods, and technologies are being developed and applied to food manufacturing. That's exactly why food science is important. In the food industry, food scientist involves in several aspects including product development food safety and packaging, sensory evaluation, nutrition and labeling, as well as sustainability. The next subtopic is the important roles of food science in agriculture. Agriculture and food science is a field of study which focuses on improving the productivity, quality, and safety of agricultural practices and practices related to bringing food from farm to table. Agriculture and food science covers topics such as farming practices, crop yields, crop harvesting, transport of harvested crops, food safety on farms, during transport, and in markets, preparation of packaged foods, animal husbandry, safety of the meat supply, food preparation, and nutrition. The main roles of food sciences in agriculture is to ensure food security and to protect food safety and quality. This includes ensuring that food is sufficient, safe, wholesome, and nutritious. Therefore, Agricultural food sciences are used to improve the nutritional value, yield and disease resistance of the crops that are grown. As mentioned in the previous slide, the main roles of food sciences in agriculture is to ensure food security and to protect food safety and quality. Under food security, keeping food supplies safe and reliable is an important aspect of national security. Nations with unstable food supplies may need to rely on imports, grants of aid, and other assistance from beyond their borders, and this could expose them to security risks. Under food safety and quality, the role of food sciences in agriculture is to ensure that the foods are safe to be consumed and to protect food quality. Agricultural food sciences are used to improve the nutritional value, yield and disease resistance of the crops that are grown. For example, plant breeding. Plant breeding is a process of developing new, improved varieties of plant that have specific traits that helps them to have higher resistance to diseases or better quality food products. However, the safety of the new variety needs to be conducted prior to the release to the market. So now, let's have a discussion. What do you think about the significant contributions of food scientists in agriculture? Please share your insight in our forum that you can access through the Putram OOC platform. Food science includes several aspects which are chemistry and biochemistry, nutrition, engineering and physics, microbiology, law, statistics as well as horticulture and animal science. You will learn each aspect throughout this course. First aspect is chemistry and biochemistry. It involves the chemical and biochemical nature of food, chemical reactions of metabolism, spoilage, and processing, as well as food analysis procedure. The second aspect is physics. It involves in the selection of raw and processed food material, determination of physicochemical properties of food, food handling, packaging, transportation equipment, as well as heating, cooling, and evaporation of food material. The third aspect is horticulture and animal science. It involves botany. Plant pathology and genetics are involved in the breeding of new varieties. Entomology, parasitology, and zoology are also involved in the growth of healthy plants and animals. The fourth part is nutrition. Human nutrition studies the digestion, absorption and utilization of food in the body. Various types of food supply various types of nutrients all necessary to support health and wellness. While human physiology involves in understanding the metabolism of food nutrients in the body which contributes to their health effects. The fifth part is law and statistics. Food law is the regulations governing processing, labeling, nutritional labeling, etc. that are based on guaranteeing the wholesomeness and safety of food and labeling that provides the customer with the right to know and prevention of deceiving the consumer. In Malaysia, Food Act 1983 is an act to protect the public against health hazards and fraud in the preparation, sale and use of food, and for matters incidental thereto or connected therewith. Meanwhile, statistics in food science may be used for different purposes, design of experiment, modeling of response variables using response surface methodology, and recently, the application of multivariate statistical methods has been more widely spread. The next aspect under food science is microbiology. 
It mainly focuses on bacterial contamination that cause food spoilage. Other than the bad side, it also covers the beneficial cultures to develop products like cheese, pickles, yogurts and etc. It also involves processing techniques to minimize food spoilage such as pasteurization, sterilization, irradiation. As introduced in the previous slide, food spoilage is defined as deterioration in the quality of food making it unpleasant or unsafe to eat, happening naturally over time or caused by microbial contamination or poor storage. Food spoilage results in loss of nutritional value, adverse changes in organoleptic properties of food and certain unwholesome effects due to production of toxins. Biogenic amines etc. The food preservation principles are crafted around these four spoilage agents. There are several factors causing food spoilage. The food spoilage agents are chiefly concerned to autolyses, spoilage microorganisms, pests and physical phenomena. The autolyses categorized into enzymatic and non-enzymatic, chemically induced autolyses. Spoilage microorganisms can either be bacteria, yeast or molds. The pests of food spoilage are rodents, insects, birds and parasites. Whereas, the spoilage of food caused by water activity, temperature and mechanical effects during harvesting, storage or transportation is attributed to physical phenomena. This topic will be explained in more details under Module 10. This is a visual example of intrinsic and extrinsic factors of food spoilage. The final part is food engineering. It involves the conversion of raw products into finished ones, from the developing, process, packaging and storing equipment and machinery. It also addresses in food processing or food technology. Food processing is a field closely related to food science. It defines as any and all processes to which food is subjected after harvesting, for the purposes of improving its appearance, texture, palatability, nutritive value, keeping properties and ease of preparation, and for eliminating microorganisms, toxins and other undesirable constituents. Food processing is in fact the transformation of raw ingredients into a marketable food items with good consumers' acceptability by either physical or chemical process. It involves value addition in the food groups to provide versatility as per consumer's need. In general, food processing operation may include cleanliness, preparatory operations, temperature treatments, preservation techniques to extend shelf life and techniques of marketing as per specificity of foods. Food processing and preservation are usually built around the manipulation of food moisture, pH, temperature, air, radiations, additives to add the value and shelf life to secure the safety of foods. Food preservation deals with the protection of food from spoilage organism, enzymes, oxidation and making sustainable quality of food till its consumption. Thus, the basic goal of food preservation is the extension of shelf life of food to facilitate its storage and distribution to far-off places. Various technologies have been geared to process the food to make it available for a longer time, distant places and as per consumer's specificity. In practice, food processing deals with the production processes of various foodstuffs based on a food science at large-scale production and preservation along with development and analysis of food items at industrial scale that has been pivotal in the reduction of post-harvest losses and at the same time value addition of raw food materials. A shift in food processing technologies from conventional to advanced is inevitable to meet the ever-changing consumer needs. The recent advances in food process and preservation technologies are mainly focusing on developing more safe and nutritious foods than the one produced conventionally. The major reasons for this change include consumer awareness, resultant demands and more scientific evidences on health and diet interrelationship. Non-thermal processing is one of the current trends in food science. It gains popularity in the food industry as an alternative to thermal processing due to its presumed safety and minimal effect on the sensory as well as nutritional properties of foods. It eliminates and destroys bacteria to produce high-quality, minimally processed, additive-free, and microbiologically safe food. High-pressure processing is one such advanced non-thermal technology with the potential to achieve food safety standards parallel to those of heat pasteurization. Applying high-pressure processing can inactivate pathogenic and spoilage microorganisms and enzymes, as well as modify structures with little or no effects on the nutritional and sensory quality of foods. Second trend is active and intelligent packaging. Active packaging systems are successfully used to increase the shelf life of processed foods. It involves absorbing and releasing systems. Intelligent packaging is characterized by its ability to monitor the condition of packaged food or the environment by providing information about different factors during transportation and storage. It includes time temperature indicators, gas detectors, and freshness and or ripening indicators. Such packaging provides great benefits to the food industry to improve freshness, shelf life of food, 
and allows monitoring to control the storage conditions from the place of production to consumption by the final consumer. Development of ready-to-eat foods The food industry has developed a range of ready-to-eat foods to meet people's need for convenience. It includes a variety of products such as cooked meat and poultry, cooked salads, smoked, salted seafood, fresh-cut fruits and vegetables. RTE foods have changed people's eating habits, because RTE foods are generally semi-finished or finished products that can be reheated or eaten directly. With the development of economy and technology, consumers not only demand convenience of food, but also pay more attention to the freshness, cleanness and minimal processing. Core principles for the technology includes use of high and low temperature, reduced water activity, increased acidity, reduced redox potential and use of biopreservatives to create hurdle in the growth of microorganisms. While maintain the quality of RTE foods, functional food is a very high demanding food product in the current market. This advancement in food science has also led the scientific focus towards recent concepts of functional and nutraceutical foods. Now efforts have been geared to explore the bioactivity of food and its constituents. Functional foods have brought in the new spectrum of healthy foods. Regulatory bodies have approved multiple health claims pertaining to such foods. Technically, functional foods are the ones which provide health benefits beyond basic nutrition. Thus, if a food has been altered in a way that it demonstrates positive health benefits, it can be regarded as functional food. Contrarily, the word nutraceutical is derived from the words nutrient and pharmaceuticals. Here is the instruction for individual assignment. Prepare a short review on this topic. Describe the trend and market of the food industry in Malaysia and other countries. The review must be in a maximum of 5 pages, in font aerial, size 12, 1.5 line spacing. Submit your assignment through the Putram OOC platform. Thank you for listening.